Hey guys, welcome to this channel. Recently, I did a video on Leonardo AI where I kind of walked you through the platform, how it has the potential to do really better than Midjourney. I also made a comparison video where I compared the outputs between Leonardo AI, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. Today, what I want to do is I'm going to take 20 prompts and I'm going to show you the recent model that is released by Leonardo AI, which is Leonardo Diffusion. I want to walk you through how good this model is and the kind of crazy generations that I've made using this model of late. You can see some of the samples here and some of the samples that I have generated using this. These are some of the samples. We're going to be running through these 20 prompts across different categories, right? So let's jump right into it. Let's start by the first prompt. And I wanted to generate old Harry Potter. You can see the generations are not too bad here. The first image seems more aligned with the output. The second one seems less connected. Third and the fourth one are not so connected at all. You can see the first one looks pretty real. Says here, we able to see Mark somewhere. On his head, the hairstyle matches and the clothes match too. So you look at how perfectly the lighting came in. One great thing about great thing about this prompt is that you can any at any point change either the subject, the type of photography you need, and you'll see a bunch of different generations coming out for your image itself. That's it. Let's quickly move on to the third one. So in the third one, what I wanted to generate is Morgan Freeman in Simpson professional grading, grading photography. So while I don't necessarily see the element of Simpson and this model is not really suited to generate output for cartoonish images, you can see this output looks crazy real, right? I think this is a more younger version of Morgan Freeman. And looking at the, looking at how the face is made, I think the goal here was obviously to kind of align it with the Simpson cartoon. Well, I think this is a this is way better generation than what I've seen in other models like Stable Diffusion or Midjourney. Let's move on to the fourth prompt where I wanted to see sea snakes in sea snake in space. Generation itself looks pretty good. Look at this one, right? So you can tell I don't necessarily see the end of the tail. I can definitely see a bluish snake floating through the space itself. So this is pretty cool in that sense. Talking about fourth one, I again related to Morgan Freeman, where I wanted to generate Morgan Freeman's young image. And this seems more aligned with what we wanted to see in the prompt. It's obviously not too young in their 50s, but otherwise I think this generation looks pretty cool. So based on, you know, a couple of prompts that we just saw right now, you can notice that it, it does great when you especially talk about things that are more real. So Morgan Freeman in that sense is a real entity or a subject and hence you're able to kind of generate a more accurate image for this person compared to when you say things like Simpsons, which in my sense is not a great generation at all. Anyways, let's move on to the next prompt. So next what we want to generate is a young lizard person, professional color grading, soft shadow, no contrast, clean, sharp, focus, film photography. Let's see. Okay, so this is really well done compared to the ones that we previously saw. You can see that uh, the lizard is in a more stand standing posture. There seems to be an element of a chest here. And so basically they do look like a lizard person in that sense. And I think they've done a pretty great job here. Move on to the next one. So our next prompt was to generate an old dog person, professional grading. The, the last part of the prompt I'm not really changing. I'm just changing the subject. You want to see how to generate hyper-realistic photographs using Leonardo AI. Check my guide. I've added the link in the description. But this generation too looks pretty cool. I even manually doing it, spending and spending hours to do it, you wouldn't be able to see this amount of realism in a photo, right? Especially this one. So I really like the generations here. Let's move on to the next generation where we've told friends cast young professional color grading. So basically told it to generate like it's kind of messed it up, especially <laughs> this one. Again, I can see six people here, two, three women. So in that sense, I think it was trying to generate, but it didn't really have context on uh, who the friends are and what kind of image to, what kind of output to generate here. Regardless, let's, let's move on to the next image, which is Asian princess during war. You can see the generations are pretty cool. Uh, I don't really understand the concept of having these marks in most of the pictures that I've seen. You can see there is one image here where down on the head and then there is a military body. Uh, military clothes. Similarly, there is some karate clothes here and then again, war uh, clothing. Let's move on to the next one. I'm saying Indian King professional color grading and these are pretty cool generations uh, aligned with what you would see in pictures for the Indian King themselves. I think th these are pretty cool generations to be honest and look, they look super real uh, in that sense, especially this one. Look at how the lighting is 
falling on the face there is a tikka on the head um there is all this jewelry there is crown so yeah in that sense this looks pretty real let's move on to a more nature driven or say a more animal geography for the next five prompts the first one is lion in nature highly detailed fur and let's see the kind of output we can generate all right so this one looks pretty pretty real in that sense where you can see how detailed the fur of the lion is how clear the face is and i think all the four images are done really well next i wanted to kind of visualize how this would look in space so i just entered the prompt lion in space with the rest of things being similar and you can see the render does not disappoint right you would see there is a mountain uh and there is a lion peeking from the sky itself so this looks pretty real in that sense next i wanted to try to change the subject so i changed it to cow in space and highly detailed horns and i don't think i'm disappointed because the generation itself looks pretty realistic although it's not as creative it does look very realistic right i don't see any stars in this background let's move on to the wolf uh, generation for the wolf itself so i said wolf in nature highly detailed fur and looks like the generations are pretty good so far like the only problem that i've seen uh in generation is when i asked to generate image of simpsons right the cartoon generation itself tortoise in a space looks like i made a mistake by adding detail for here but you can see the generation regardless looks pretty cool looks like the land itself is a foreign space land indian land there's a galaxy in the background overall not disappointed by the generation at all next let's move on to a bit of uh architectural generation right so i said architectural generation of uh, of space living room professional photography so more of what i wanted to see is like a uh, futuristic space rooms i can see the background here uh i can see there is a empty arid land indicating space but overall the generations look fine there is shadow you know obviously you can add more elements here by saying even the lit rooms or hdr light light in the room itself to kind of generate or brighten out the output but overall i think this looks the generation itself looks great now let's change this to a uh, tree house and this is the kind of generation you get when you change this to nature tree house and i and i personally kind of love these generation this generation a lot you can see how the tree itself is connected with the house making this a more oriented or a natural uh, tree house in that sense similarly this one is more aligned with the part of the tree itself it's like it's the part of the tree itself the tree is holding the house so really really creative in that sense let's uh so went ahead and also kind of look at mantare in water and and at this generation too looks pretty cool maybe i made a mistake because these are not really mantares maybe something else anywho let's try sea horse and and what i tried here is macro photography the results don't disappoint they look pretty pretty so yeah and that's probably going to be it for today itself i hope you were able to see the potential that leonardo diffusion model has by watching the video itself you can obviously kind of play around with the prompt for yourself you can take the static part of the prompt play around with the subjects to generate really cool uh, images art projects whatever you do right so and that's going to be it for the video itself thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you